What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a farming simulator 2015 video and today is the last video in the building a house playlist series because the project is complete. The house is built, the lawn is now growing and we just have to wait and mow it now weekly. So we'll be hauling all this equipment back to our shop and I did load up a bunch of these small equipment and since this roller is really big we'll be putting it on the low boy truck that is being pulled by this cat truck. So let's get started by uh, taking each back and uh, going to be a pretty long process but uh, we need to uh, haul this all back and I would like to thank each and every one of you for all your awesome support and I really do thank you guys for all those awesome ideas that uh, create these pretty cool videos for you guys. But, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to be as realistic as possible since a couple people did say that that roller cannot be pulled by, uh, this GMC truck. So now we'll be using the big low boy, but, uh, yeah, I think for now we'll just back them all in each, uh, bay. Actually, there is some semi-trucks, but, uh, I think there is enough room for all this equipment because we did purchase some new equipment every episode for us. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. And this series was awesome. I really did enjoy it. And uh, let me know, guys, if you would like to see another series like this one. But uh, we'll, we will pull this one in all the way here. And uh, we'll switch on over to the other truck. Awesome. Not sure why this uh, makes you do that. But uh, we'll drive that over. But I want to take the uh, 650 dump truck first. got it started up so let's head on back with these two JCB skid steers and uh, the turning radius isn't the best because there is a collision on this bed of the truck that is uh, interfering with the turning which is fine though we just have to take the turns a little wide but uh, we will be fine going to take this turn a little bit wider like I was saying that uh, these controls, yeah, this is the widest we could go. So we might have to leave this outside because uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to really turn into the uh, shop. We do have the uh, forestry buckets in the back of this truck here, which is awesome. And yes, we will just barely be making this turn, but I will look into fixing the collision problem on this truck but that's perfect so we got two trucks back and a whole lot more to go so let's drive the JCB back now and uh, this is road worthy so uh, that's completely fine shut the door and uh, yeah I really did like the series I really do like construction and uh, this was perfect for us and we still do have a lot more equipment to haul back since we have to come back two more times with a low boy truck. I'm going to have my hazards on. Does this this does not have hazards? I was going to have those on. That way uh people could go around me. And I get a lot of requests to have traffic on, but I feel like they get in the way more than they are realistic, so I just uh have turned it off. But it will be pulling in here. Is it going to clear? That was a close one. And let me know, guys, if you want me to do a video reorganizing the shop here. Awesome. So back here, this one, pretty close to almost falling off, which is a little funny. But uh, let's put up the ramps, which are already up. No need to put them up. And uh, after this, now we just have to do the cat truck. And then, all the equipment has gone in. Before we started to take all the equipment off, we did get paid. That way, they would pay us before we left. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite Chevy trucks right now. It's perfect. Whoa! Do not know what happened there at all. 
But uh, yeah, this truck is awesome. It's really tippy. I think it's the cedar that's uh, making this truck tip a lot. But I think for the other ones, we will we'll keep them outside. Awesome. So we're in the cat truck now. We got these three pieces of equipment. Going to lock the load that way it does not slide around. And I will truck all this back here. And the two more trips. We could probably fit it on one. But I don't want to push it. And uh, end up damaging a piece of equipment. Trying to in the process. But uh, yeah please let me know guys. What you guys would like to see for some hauling videos. I really would like to get into some hauling videos. Like I have been doing in the past. And I'm sorry for all the uh, lag right now I'm not sure exactly why but I will just leave these outside here we uh, don't have room inside at the moment but uh, these will be fine out here back this off and this is actually a smaller excavator but it's larger than the larger one that we have which is pretty cool lower that down and uh, you always would like to try to have the buckets all the way down. That way uh, the pressure is off the hydraulic arms and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments, like I was saying, what types of loads you guys would like me to haul. And uh, what truck and trailers would you guys like me to use. You have a nice plane in the background there. I really do like this realistic sky in here that's awesome but uh, we'll go around the block here that way uh, we don't have to turn around with the load we'll turn around when the uh, truck is empty taking a little wide but uh yeah these streets are pretty narrow to fit a truck this size but it's pretty cool though I really do enjoy this map and they're making pretty good progress and like I said I'm sorry about the lag I'm not sure exactly what it is it's causing me problems with it, but yeah, I'm going to pull in, and then we'll just back up just a little. That was perfect. Now we will back up, and uh, I think we should have had a police car here to help us block the road while we load up. But I think that we are fine for today, since uh, there's no traffic right now. And I think on the next one, we'll go around the larger block. But I will just take this one, the roller. And a lot of you guys were saying that this is really heavy. And you need a powerful truck to haul it. So that's what I found. I found a cat semi-truck. So, that's perfect. Load this on. Really, really nice roller. I, I like using pretty cool mods like this. But, uh... Yeah, back this up. And uh, one more piece of equipment to take back to the shop and then our day is finished and this job would be completely finished and I really like I said I I did enjoy this series and a lot of you guys enjoyed it so please let me know if you guys would like to see another series like this one pulling in here pretty small narrow entrance might have to look into uh, changing that up a bit but uh yeah going to leave this outside also no need to uh put it inside at the moment we are kind of close on space and uh these could get a little wash from the rain which uh would save us money instead of washing it ourselves but uh <laughs> we'll put this right next to this one we're going to clear it really close right there we will not be clearing it but I will be having some very cool videos coming. So please let me know if you guys really do like those by giving me big likes on those videos when they are coming here shortly. And I cannot wait for those. But I will back this up. Not sure exactly what the... Oh, there we go. Now it's attached. So let's head on out. And I really do like all the room we have around this shop here. And uh, it's perfect for uh, taking big semi-trucks. Like I said, I'm sorry about the lag problem. It could be 
because I have so much high textured equipment in one area that that would be causing me lag but I'm not 100% sure and uh, we'll go around this block here by turning and I did add this uh, block here I kind of like the uh, larger properties for mowing so that's what I added a bunch of large properties for us but I'm making good progress on this uh, c construction equipment haul and uh, perfect so this will be our last time at the job site and then the next time let me know guys would you guys want me to mow this property I think mowing it would be pretty cool but I'm uh, loading up the last and final excavator and a uh, piece of equipment. This looks to be a little bit older one, but uh, that's fine. They all still work perfectly fine. And I would have the uh, removable tongue on this trailer, but I found that it's a lot easier <laughs> to have the one that has no collision. But uh, load this, lower the arm, and let's head back to the shop now and uh, awesome this job is like I said completely finished and now we just have to do weekly maintenance to it backing up now trying to hook on in looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble here not sure exactly why perfect we got it so let's haul this back and I'll unload it and we'll call it a day here because pretty awesome day we collected the money for it and uh, you always would like to collect it that way you get paid instead of just doing the work for free and uh... yeah perfect last time here and you can see all our tire tracks is pretty cool really do like that feature in the game but uh, I can't wait for Farming Simulator 17 to come out. So we'll unhook this and uh, we'll get this unloaded and uh, that would be it. And uh, let me know guys if you are allowed to unload from the side of the trailer. I wasn't really sure about that. But uh, I'm not really sure if that's uh, realistic to load from the side. I thought that you would always load from the front of it so please let me know and i hope you guys enjoyed and like always like comment and subscribe